Welcome to Tactical Reviews for a look at Nightcore's new tactical EDC lights. Here we've got two versions, the EDC 33 and the EDC 35. Both of these lights have uh, some similar features and really the main difference is the output level and size. So with the EDC 33, this is a 4000 lumen variant and the EDC 35 has a 5000 lumen output and uh, slightly larger because of the bigger battery. And these lights have a couple of distinctive features. So we have the lumen shield, not lumen, but lumen, lumen shield. And that relates to a very quick access to the maximum output. Uh, they also both have a special night core LED, the UHI, which is a nine core. We'll take a much closer look at that later, uh, LED, and a physical lockout switch. And with the different sizes, so the EDC33, this doesn't have a, uh, a carry case uh, because it's designed to be just generally more slipped inside a pocket. So that also comes with a charging cable and a lanyard clip. These also come with the EDC35, but the EDC35 has a, a case which will a belt holster which we'll look at again in much more detail. Before we go into all the really close up detail, what I wanted to do is just a side by side here with the, the two versions. So we have a, a 4000 lumen light. So this is built around an 18650 cell and the 5000 lumen version, which is built around a 21700 cell. So that battery is dictating really the overall size of the, the light. So um, effectively the features apart from those output levels are the same between these two. So once we've done this size comparison I'm going to then really focus more in on uh, the EDC35 for all of the details and in effect they are the same for the EDC 33, it's just the smaller version. So we just don't repeat all of that. Now in terms of weight, so the larger of the two is coming in at 184 grams. Uh, now, when you carry these, so we also have a case for the EDC 35. The 33 does not have that. So if you were carrying it in the case, then that becomes 245 grams. Just the light, 184, and compared to just the EDC 33 at 128 grams. So depending on what your requirements are. Obviously with a 21700 cell you get a longer runtime at the same output and you get that extra level of output but you also get a bulkier light, bulkier and heavier and potentially you're carrying in the case as well. So then obviously visually side by side you can see the length difference. Uh, it's, it's actually about a centimeter extra, the EDC 35, uh, all together. So the EDC 33 is 11 and a half centimeters and the EDC 35 about 12 and a half. The head diameters, again, you can see visually the difference there, but that actually measures at 25.4 millimeters for the EDC 33 and 31.8 for the EDC 35. Just use another little visual comparison. And with the case as well, which even for the EDC 35, and is 
perhaps a tiny bit oversized. If you look at where the light would sit in the case, this lump on the top is giving more than enough room. So if you're carrying it in the case versus just the EDC 33. So now we'll come in really close and look at all of the features. As I mentioned before, the features are the same really. So, but the EDC 35 also includes this carry case, which has a nice magnetic closure at the top. And we have a, a D-loop hanger. We also have a Velcro attached belt loop and a fixed belt loop behind that. Now with this type of sort of rigid structure, you also need to look at the fact that as you open it, that top section has to hinge backwards. And this is something might possibly get in the way depending on where you mount it. So just have that in mind. And then we'll actually come even closer for this. So here we're coming in very close on the EDC 35. So comes with the steel pocket clip fitted. You would be able to pull that off. It's always a bit of a struggle, but that's just clipped onto the head there. So if you want to take that off, you can. There's this nice grip pattern that Nightcore have developed used on a few lights now, which is interesting to look at and nice and grippy. The head also has these this shaping which helps a little bit with anti-roll, but really mainly the clip does to stop this rolling. And then onto these special features. So we have a lockout switch, which means that very quickly and easily, this is now in a full lockout mode. There is actually, we'll, we'll go through that when we check the modes, there's a, a half lockout where you still have access to the maximum modes. It's not my favorite, but uh, that means that you can just grab it in that mode and you you still have access to the lumen shield mode otherwise though you just have there and we're active so we also have built in USB-C charging and that is a rotating sleeve at the end of the tail cap end so little stop there rotate it and opens the exposes the USB-C charging port. Just turn that on, that's on a low mode. And we've got four indicator lights for battery level. And now looking directly into the head, I'm gonna come in even closer have to be a little bit careful here with the camera's exposure, not to bring my hands into shots, otherwise you won't be able to see. Um, but what we have here is the UHI LED, and we have a central round emitter, and then surrounding that are eight additional emitters, which just really bump up the power you know, this, this is a 5,000 lumen output, so nine core, as Nightcore refer to it. So central spot LED emitter, and then eight that are flood emitters. So we have an orange peel reflector here, and this little spot to the side is, there's a, a kind of safety mode where in the high level output, if the head of the light becomes too close to a, an object, 
the sensor picks that up from the amount of light coming back and it reduces the output. Okay, so while looking at the modes, I want to just cover this lockout and half lockout. So the switch, that's on and that's the lockout, but we have an option. So at the moment it's in full lockout and that means that this tail switch doesn't respond at all. So we've got half, full press, nothing, no output. However, there is an option of half lockout. So what we need to do is to get that, we have to start off with the light on. So I've got it in ultra low at the moment. And while it's on, we need to half press the button and lock it out and let go. Now, this appears to be in lockout, it's actually got access to the lumen shield modes, which is a half press for the spot and a full press for the maximum output. So although it's locked out, we still have access to those lumen shield modes. Then to revert back, we need to turn it on. That's now on and simply turn off again. And because it was on when I turned it off, that's returned it to full outlook, out, well, lockout, full lockout again. Having dealt with the lockout and half lockout, uh, just in normal operating mode. So the Lumen modes, the two high power output modes are accessed with uh, a constant pressure. So half press and hold, and that is a spot maximum output and full press and hold and that's all those emitters so maximum output flood and spot together the 5000 lumen so those are that that's just all the time you have that immediate access to lumen shield so bearing in mind the maximum is just fully press the switch and there is a tiny tiny delay because it has to allow for the fact that for normal operating mode you're gonna click and release so that was a full click and in this case it's it's remembered the ultra low which is what I was I had it on now to step through we have low medium and high high has this auto step down which you can override with a half press if you want to and then full click off so all of those functions that we've covered with the EDC 35 is exactly the same with the EDC 33 the including that uh, full and half lockout just with the lower maximum output and obviously with the smaller head the beam profile is slightly different so we're just going to finish up with a really close-up look at the EDC 35 so we've got the lumen shield engraving Thank you for joining me and remember, get informed, be prepared, stay sharp.